The piping in any nuclear power plant is rigorously designed to stringent codes and is routinely inspected for optimal safety and performance. In the unlikely event of a pipe leak or break, ESBWR passive safety features are designed to prevent the nuclear reactor's core from overheating. In fact, these safety features would keep the fuel at or below its normal operating temperature for a period of time established by the regulatory authorities. If a pipe leaks or breaks, control rod blades are automatically inserted into the reactor core, stopping the nuclear reaction. The feed water system maintains a sufficient water level in the vessel to avoid activating the passive core cooling system. In the event that plant power is lost at the same time that a pipe leaks or breaks, the ESBWR passive safety systems activate to replace the power-operated systems. With no electricity to pump water into the reactor pressure vessel, the passive safety systems utilize natural forces to flood and cool the core. Triggered by the loss of power, heat exchanger tubes drain water into the reactor pressure vessel. As the tubes empty, steam from the reactor is drawn in and condensed. This removes heat from the reactor and transfers it to the IC pool in the upper part of the building. If the water level drops to a level below that expected for common plant events, a timed sequence of depressurization and passive cooling begins. Depressurization begins when the safety relief valves open and transfer steam from the reactor into the suppression pool, where it is condensed back into water. This relieves pressure in the reactor pressure vessel. The depressurization valves open next, transferring steam from the reactor directly into the containment. At the same time, high pressure tank valves open, forcing liquid through piping directly into the core. Near the end of depressurization, Valves open and allow water to drain from the GDCS pool into the reactor pressure vessel, raising the water level and completing the process of cooling the nuclear core. A passive, natural circulation cooling cycle then begins, as steam bubbles from the core drift to the surface. The steam then flows from the containment to low-pressure heat exchangers in the PCC pool that condense the steam into water. The core's heat is transferred to the PCC pool through this steam. As the steam condenses in the low-pressure heat exchanger, it drains first to the GDCS pool, then returns to the reactor pressure vessel, completing the closed-loop cooling system. Because the core has remained cooled through the sequence, the nuclear fuel does not heat up and the fuel tubes remain intact. If any radioactivity is released from the core, the containment building prevents the release into the environment. The ESBWR passive safety systems automatically keep the reactor core consistently cooled for 72 hours, unlike any operating nuclear plant. The pools are sized to remove heat from the core for three days. After that time, the upper pool will be refilled. In summary, accident events like pipe breaks can be accommodated by the ESBWR passive safety systems without any reliance on the AC power grid or even emergency generators for three days with no core heat up.